So I just got this comment on a video I did a few months ago about Caroline Diesler. She's an Instagram influencer and she promotes a very like fruit heavy vegan diet, very carb heavy vegan diet. I've criticized her diet in the past. And then, like I said, a few months ago, I made a video specifically about what she feeds her baby. And I was pleasantly surprised, if I remember correctly, the diet was much better than I thought. There was lots of healthy fat, protein. I think she had some like mashed edamame, stuff like that. So yeah, I was uh, pleasantly surprised by that. But like I said, I just got this comment on that video. I would check out more recent videos of her child. She's 22 months old, doesn't stand, walk, talk. I haven't seen her even crawl. And it seems the toddler is eating pretty much fruit and some vegetables. I don't think the baby is okay. I'm not sure if it's nutritional or something else, but many are concerned for the toddler. And yes, I'm getting over another cold. <laughs> the summer colds never end. I think I got this one from the doctor's office. I just took my two-year-old to their wellness checkup think that's where we got it. So I read this yesterday and it made my heart sink. Like, oh my God, I don't, I shouldn't even go look at this, honestly, because it's just going to make me upset. But I did, I want to talk about this because I see this so often, not just within the vegan community, but just when it comes to kids on the internet in general. Well, let's just go to her page first. So here's Caroline Diesler's Instagram page. Wow, she posts very frequently because I don't think these top three were even on here yesterday. I definitely saw this one, 18 months of cuddles and breastfeeding, where she's holding her 18-month-old baby, uh, Haley, I think is her name. I think one of the reasons why she left is that now she doesn't have to be under the care of a pediatrician. I assume she means left to another country or something. I don't know. Her child's behavior has been bothering me for a long time and she ignores it, focusing only on herself. 18 months and still not walking. I don't know how you get that from this video. She's holding her and cuddling her. I, I don't know. She doesn't even flex her legs at all. They just dangle limply. Can that child even stand or put weight on her legs? She behaves like a six month old. It's really alarming. POV, you and your baby both love to eat standing. Now it looks like uh, baby Haley is sitting here, but I saw in another video, she has like this standing contraption. <laughs> what, do you, what do you call it? It's like a, it's like a high chair, but for standing. So they can't like fall out the back. It's got bars on the back. I'm a nanny and I know how two-year-olds behave. This toddler is malnourished. She should be moving much more, laughing more, talking at least a few words and walking so sad. So I don't see, I don't know how you get from this that she's not walking and talking. I mean, so all of my kids are very verbal from an early age, above average, they, you know, they just are, we're smart people. As soon as I turn on a camera, nothing. Now, not for my older kids, but when they're little, like my two-year-old, I have barely any video of them talking because as soon as I turn on the camera, they're like, what's going on? What's that? Let me see, let me see what you're filming. Or like when I took them to the doctor just the other day, just a week ago, they said nothing. And so my pediatrician, who knows all my kids, was like, how are they doing verbally? And I was like, okay, they just said on the way here, I see a bird outside. It's so nice. And the doctor was like, yeah, I, I expected that. And then I got them to say bye and yeah, like real quick before the doctor left. But yeah, if you put them in any sort of, uh, you know, semi-stressful situation or like on command, hey, say this, nah, you're not getting shit. My point is just because you don't see a baby speak, in a fucking 20 second clip doesn't mean they don't speak. Laughing, like the ba the baby's eating. Do you normally laugh while you're eating? I, I don't, what? The risk of choking with those uncut grapes and tomatoes. Wait, is she really eating whole? Okay, that's actually concerning. So here is a video, this is seven days ago, where you can see that Bailey, baby Haley is probably not walking on her own. Her hands are being held. Again, 18 months old, which depending on who you talk to is still considered normal. It is still normal unless there are other delays as well that suggest it's not normal for a child to be just starting to walk around 18 months. Again, it depends on the pediatrician. I know there are some where at 16 months, if your kid is still not walking, they want them to go see a professional. That would have happened to our kid if it weren't for my pediatrician not agreeing with that. My pediatrician says 18 months. If they're not walking on their own, at least taking a few steps 18 months, then you know we want them to go see a, a specialist. But if I had a pediatrician who said 16 months, my last kid, my third one, would have gone to physical therapy 
for no reason to be clear because they were walking on their own by about 16 and a half months. My point is, number one, again, this is just a short clip. Number two, this could be normal. We really have no idea because we are not this child's pediatrician. We have no idea what's going on with her other milestones. This baby isn't healthy. How? how? So she posted this video pretending it's about hair when in reality she's trying to prove people that her child can walk. That is so sad. My little boy eats beef, chicken, eggs, milk, cheese, salmon almost every week and he is 18 months and not walking yet because he is hypermobile. Maybe her daughter is. Thank you. I saw another one like that too on another video from someone saying, my kid eats meat and still isn't walking. So if a child wasn't vegan and not walking independently at 18 months, what would people say? Because this happens a lot to a lot of kids and most are not vegan. Ridiculous comments, just block them, Caroline. I tend to agree. I mean, I don't know about the blocking, but as I said at the beginning, I see this a lot and it's not just with vegan uh, kids. And this is really another reason why I think family vlogging like this and vlogging your children should not be seen as just this innocuous thing. You know, I've criticized family vlogging a lot for the potential exploitation of the children, but I've never really talked about this kind of shit and what it can do to mothers and fathers mentally having to read this kind of stuff. I mean, it's so crazy. I remember one uh, video from this like crazy anti-vegan, of course, and they were going after Ellen Fisher's kids and just saying just the craziest stuff that the way it was like the way uh, one of the kids was sighing or something showed that they were malnourished. I mean, it's just I see some of the craziest shit on family uh, vlogging stuff and like little Instagram videos, not even family vlogging, but just like a here's a kid just doing a cute thing, you know, and it goes viral and you read the comments like their forehead doesn't look right. <laughs> What's going on with their hair? And this is coming from someone who regularly criticizes people like Caroline. I regularly criticize, you know, these vegan parents and the way they feed their kids. And yet I'm saying, hey guys, like stop. My daughter started crawling at 18 months old, started walking at 22 months old. My husband and I were concerned, but the pediatrician wasn't. Some kids start walking at nine months and some kids at 24 months old. 24 is very rare. Like that is, I don't think anyone really considers that normal. I'm sure it's happened in some cases, but um, I think the vast majority of pediatricians would have your kid at physical therapy by that point. But the, the point is milestones are very, very large, including for walking and they change, right? Crawling is now no longer a milestone, which is, it makes sense, right? Because again, my two-year-old, my two-year-old didn't crawl until maybe right before they started walking or right after, they scooted around on their butt and used like one hand and their butt to scoot around really, really fast. It's not even about the not walking yet. The way she holds her arms and hands seems like she has very little gross motor skills. If she would just add some eggs and butter to her diet, she would see a big change. Why does she look completely exhausted all the time? Children need animal products to thrive. Please do some research on the Weston A. Price diet for babies. It literally says that post-nap cuteness. Oh my God, the internet is a disease. Oh, here's another one I saw. POV home workouts changed your life. This little girl cannot hold her head. I am done with this profile. This woman is obsessed. She's literally holding her head up because she does that because she goes down like that. Have you never just seen a baby do that? What? Poor kid couldn't even sit for longer than five seconds. She seems so lethargic all the time. That baby is pale and tired. I think it's mostly the lighting right there. It's the light coming from behind and shining on her. It's making her look like washed out. Cause when you see her like here, I mean, does, does she look pale? No, she doesn't look pale at all. Oh, here's the, here's the chair standing, standing, uh, what, what do you call this? Standing high chair? It's not a chair, standing cage. <laughs> I don't know. It's cute though. I've, it's, it's a, it's a cute idea. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, I love babies. I love babies in baggy clothes. Look at her in that sweatshirt. It has to be rolled up because it's so big on her. Oh, I love it. Okay. So this is the most recent one. This is four hours ago. Oh, there she is crawling. How much you want to bet someone's going to complain that she's crawling and not walking. Crawling around like a nine month old baby, not a toddler. Toddlers still crawl, especially if she's just starting to walk, which it looks like she's just starting to walk. Crawling is still going to be faster for her for a while. So she's going to be mostly crawling. Oh, she has a baby led weaning book now. Uh, maybe I'll check that out in the future sometime. I don't know. I've already talked about this woman so much already. So my third video, aside from feeding her a vegan diet, a two-year-old simply can't learn how to chew with those mushy, mashy diet. Your child needs protein. You're doing it wrong. So unless you feed your kid meat, 
they can't learn how to chew. I. Most children her age smile and babble happily as they eat. She looks depressed and in poor health, bless her. Dude, my two-year-old, when they are eating, they're eating. They're into their food. They're quiet. That's how I know they like their food. And also she like smiles at the end of this clip. Oh, it's so cute. Are you a clinical dietitian? What are your qualifications to be writing a children's book? Now that's, those are good questions. <laughs> okay, so she shares the list of recipes. Buckwheat pancakes. Oh yeah, she really likes buckwheat, right? Quinoa millet porridge. Sounds pretty healthy. Iron boosting smoothie. Hmm, I wonder what's in that. Tofu scramble. Hey, that's cool. Oh yeah, she did use edamame, I remember. So yeah, she's not anti-soy. That's, that's good. Chocolate oats, oat muffin. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of oat stuff. Oh, lentil buns, tofu bites, iron hummus. Cool. Like I said, I'm just looking at the names of the recipes. So maybe I'll do a separate video, you know, looking at the, um, at the foods. But what I really wanted to talk about here is just like, be careful just looking at kids online and saying they're malnourished. Again, coming from someone who regularly criticizes these parents for potentially malnourishing their kids. In all my time doing this and when I was raw, I can only think of two cases off the top of my head of like, clearly this child is malnourished. One, this was many, many years ago. I got an email from from a fellow like raw, you know, fruit person who I was regularly in contact with. And she told me about like a really uh, chilling experience she had at a raw food kind of meetup where she lived. And she actually shared video with me of this couple's baby who was like around the same age as her child. And it's, it's still just one of the most unsettling things I've ever seen. This child was so clearly malnourished and did not behave or look how a child that age should behave or look. It was awful. And luckily it had a happy story. The The young couple ended up moving back in, I think, with her parents or something. And they realized everything was wrong and started feeding the kid appropriately and the kid rebounded and, and everything was good. But um, that was the first case of that. And then the second one, Fit Fresh Fruit or some, something like that, I can't think of her name, but uh, she had the fruit pregnancy and gave birth to her child. And the child, uh, the child did not look right. It was very thin and I mean, already kind of a interesting looking child because the the mom has like a huge forehead like bigger than mine like a you know I've got a five head she's got an eight head you know it's like it's something else and and the kid definitely uh, uh acquired that from her so that maybe didn't help things but there was there was some things going on with the legs and um yeah like that that was really unsettling and then she did take all those photos down and stopped showing the kid um because she said harassment you know, who who knows, but I hope, I hope that child is doing okay now. I really don't know. I know they still eat a fruit diet, but those are the only two cases. And remember, we're just getting little clips. And also we don't know exactly when these were even filmed. These could be like a month old, which for a baby, for a little 18 month old is a lot. A lot can happen in one month, right? It's so hard as it is to parent and to not compare your child and your child's development to other kids. And you're already on the fringe, you know, feeding them vegan. So that's a whole nother thing. And maybe you have family members who are concerned and all of that, and you're trying to do what's right. I just don't want to add to that unnecessarily and make someone feel like their child is not okay when they are. And maybe Haley is not, I don't know, but I'm not a pediatrician. And, you know, it's one thing for people to say, hey, like, it's everything okay. That doesn't bother me. It's the, she should be walking now at 18 months. She needs butter and eggs. <laughs> she should be laughing while she's eating her broccoli. She looks pale because of this lighting, because of this particular lighting in this video. My two-year-old has uh, some weird tooth situation going on where two of the baby teeth are kind of fused together. It's it's really goofy looking. I forgot what it's called, but obviously I, you know, brought it up to the pediatrician when they went in and he was like, oh yeah, we've seen that before. It's typically not a problem, but you know, take them to the dentist just to be sure. So I'm just thinking like if I, not even family vlogging, but if I just shared like photos of my kids every once in a while, 
oh my God, I can't imagine the comments I would get over something like that, right? Saying they're malnourished and they just need butter and eggs. It's the vegan diet <laughs> and just any other little things, right? Because hum humans are all different. And we're all weird in our own little ways. And you can look at any little baby, no matter how perfect and find some little thing that's maybe a little bit off or you imagine it to be a little bit off and up vegan diet. So I'm not really sure what the point of this video is, honestly. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to say, um, except I, we should just be careful in our wording and we should always remember that there are other people on the other side of this. Like Caroline is an actual person. She's an actual mother. This is an actual baby. And there are other people reading as well who might have a 17 month old, 18 month old who's not walking and has seen the pediatrician and the pediatrician says, okay. And then they go to Caroline's page and they read these comments saying, no, actually 18 month old, they should be walking. There's something wrong. They're malnourished. Parenting is hard enough and it's hard enough not to get sucked in to all of that and the weird guilt tripping and, you know, feelings of inadequacy and like you're not doing things correctly with your children because they're not on some sort of perfect path to walking and talking. Not walking at 18 months old does not necessarily mean that anything is wrong. Um, so I guess that's my ultimate point. It's like, pediatrician, right? right? We should all have a pediatrician we see regularly at 18 months old. She should have an appointment at 18 months old and then another one at two. I think 18 is when they start going to six months, at least in, in the U.S. And if there is something wrong, it doesn't mean that it's even the diet, you know? I think if, if there's a weight issue, then that's possibly a good indicator that it is diet related, right? Or at least not getting enough calories. But to me, this baby does not look underweight. Again, I'm not a pediatrician. I'm not an expert of any kind. Neither is anyone else in these comments. Like I see people saying, I'm a nanny. She's almost two years old and doesn't walk. 18 months is not almost two years old. That's six months away from two years old. Sorry, I'm just rambling and getting even more heated. I'm a bitch. I'm so mean sometimes. Sometimes I go back and watch whole videos and I'm like, really? I couldn't have said that any other way. I couldn't have been just like a little bit nicer. Like really, I didn't notice that in editing, you know? And even I'm like, hey guys, like chill out. And also realize that you're, you're giving them engagement too. Like if you want this stuff to end, you know, family vlogging, veganism, whatever you think it is, like going to their, their page and constantly watching their stuff and commenting, like that's, that's good for them. But anyway, I would love to know your thoughts. I would love to know um, from any experts, if there are any pediatricians or maybe some, you know, uh, what do you call a physical therapist for like babies? I would love to hear from you guys if watching these clips, if something is concerning um, or if you agree with me. I don't know, but I just, I've been thinking about this for the last 24 hours and it's like, it's just really been bothering me. I don't care what anyone says about me. I just don't care. But the thought of, you know, having my kids out there and people commenting such things about my beautiful, perfect little babies, like it's just, it's so upsetting. There's a, a parent data uh, it's from the author of Crib Sheets, Emily Oster, I think is her name. I really like her. I have like all her books. I think she has a new one coming out actually. Um, but Parent Data is her Substack, And she posted not too long ago talking about her own child not walking until I think like 18 months. And the whole piece was just about like the range in, you know, milestones, right? And what's considered normal is just huge, right? Like you have, I've talked to my pediatrician where he was like, I just saw a nine month old who started walking. Like he just saw a patient of his nine months, nine months old. I'll try to find that and put that in the description. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you did enjoy it. I hope you got something out of it. Please do like the video. Please do subscribe. That helps out the channel a lot. And of course, thank you so much to my members and my patrons at patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. They help support the channel. They help keep it going because... As many of you know, I don't do sponsors. I've only had one sponsor in my entire YouTube career, and that was like years ago at this point. Anyway, thank you again, guys. New video soon.